It looks like you had like a lot of energy right off the bat um, in the first half, especially you high pressed a lot. Um, what do you think you took away from that first half getting that goal in? Yeah, I mean, obviously, right? Goals are important, right? Goals change games, right? We when we were in that stretch of not winning, we weren't scoring. You know, we were scoring after the after the team has scored one or two goals, right? Now, the last couple of games, we've scored first, and that's a real big deal for us, and it's a big deal for anybody, right? Data will show you, you know, we and we're very big in the data will show you that first goals are really big, right? First goals are really big. So, um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, right? Two games, five points. Should, we would we, love to have six, but in this league, it's difficult, right? You put in a lot of the uh, substitutions in the in there, um, and you still were able to pull out a win. What does that mean for your guys, your depth of the team as well? Yeah, I mean, for us, right? I mean, we, we made a lot of changes. We used all the changes. I think we, we had five and then actually six because of the concussion sub. So, um, you know, basically we changed over half the team. So, and that, that really helped us. So. Yeah, this is a new team for y'all playing against Toronto, correct? Yeah, first time, yeah. What does it say to you coming into a new team, a different atmosphere, maybe a different style of play? Um, what does that mean for your guys to get that win against them? Yeah, I mean, a win's important. Wins, points at home are important. Winning games at home are really important. So um, we just have to make sure that we continue that. Now we hit the road, go to Huntsville. I mean, there's no easy team in this league, right? I mean, they got a good environment. It'll be very difficult for us, so... So what, what are you most proud of from that performance? Well, I think most proud of is that we made a lot of changes and the changes of the guys really, they fought for us, they really worked for us, and so that was good. Four for four and shootouts at home. Uh, so how important is that going to be in the stretch? In this league, right? I mean, it's what it is. You have to, you have to really adjust yourself to what's happening in the league. So, yeah. And is that something that the team has worked on a lot in training or what what can you kind of attribute the success from the shootouts to yeah we we um we give we give time for the guys to practice them and train them in training so uh we we make sure that uh, they have time we don't we we don't get into we they have their way and so we let them have their way and lastly it was cavity night here you know at cfc so how important can you just speak to that symbolism of seeing almost Felt like 400 kids at halftime on the field, just being a part of this club. You know how important is the academy to the future? future? Yeah, I mean, youth soccer, youth players are the lifeblood of any club. Regardless if you a club that don't even ever use players to the first team, it's still the lifeblood of because that builds city camaraderie, that builds potential for sponsors. You go on, you can go on and on and on tickets, tickets, you know. So and then getting them to the first team is even more important.